the Golden State Warriors known for having some of the most electric players of all time, from Wilt Chamberlain to Baron Davis to the infamous Steph Curry. Many different talents from all over the world have come together to create some of the most iconic moments of all time, with memories that will never be forgotten. On May 14, 2014, the Golden State Warriors signed Steve Kerr to a five-year, $25 million contract. Uh, in my ability to do this job, and at the, at the same time, I'm well aware of how much work I have to do. It was his first coaching job at age 48. The five-time NBA champion who had set an all-time shooting record of 45% from the three. Kerr served as president and general manager of the Phoenix Suns from 2007 to 2010. Before working as an NBA analysis for TNT, during his first season as head coach, they would go on to have the highest in the league at 67-15, and 15, also breaking the Warriors' record for most wins in a season. With a home record of 39-2, and two, the second best in NBA history, ranking first in defensive efficiency and second in offensive efficiency. On May 4th, Steph was named the 2014-2015 to Most Valuable Player. For blessing me with the talents to play this game, with the family, uh, to support me. The first warrior since Wilt Chamberlain in 1960. They would go on to sweep the New Orleans Pelicans in the first round of the playoffs, then beating Memphis in six in round two going on to deface Harden and the Rockets in the Western Conference Finals, closing it out in Game 5, leading them to their first NBA Finals since 1975. This would be the first of many intensive face-offs he would have with LeBron and the Cavaliers over the next three consecutive years, with the series starting out with them down 2-1. to one. Seeing this, Kerr decided to replace center Andrew Bogut with Andre Iguodala, giving him his first start, and this one be a game-changer for them. The Warriors' small lineup, which came to be known as the Death Lineup, would prove to be beneficial as they beat the Cavaliers in six games. Iguodala was named Finals MVP, and Kerr became the first rookie coach to win a title since Pat Reilly in 1982. The Warriors began the 2015 season on a mission winning their first 24 games. The best start in NBA history surpassing the previous record of 15 by the 1948 Capitals. This would be the greatest number of wins in a row by any professional sport in America. They would also go on a 28-game winning streak, giving them the second highest in history behind the Miami Heat. Throughout doing all this, they would set an NBA record with 54 consecutive home game wins, January 31st, spanning from 2015 all the way to March 29, 2016. The previous record was 44 held by the 1995-1996 Bulls led by Michael Jordan. Finishing the season 73-9, and nine, breaking the NBA record for most wins in a season. On May 10, 2016, he was named the NBA's most valuable player for the second year in a row, becoming just the 11th player to ever do this, and being the first person to ever win the award by unanimous decision winning all 131 votes. Steph, Clay, and Draymond would all make the All-Star selections this year. The guy in the discussion for Defensive Player of the Year. They don't allow it to go out of bounds. Looks like a wide open dunk. Green says, get that. Green broke the Golden State franchise record for most triple doubles in a season with nine. Curry would break several records along the way, including his own NBA record for most three-pointers in a season at 286. July of 2016 would be a crazy offseason throughout the NBA. And amongst this on July 4th, Kevin Durant would announce he was leaving the Oklahoma City Thunder to sign a two-year deal with the Golden State Warriors. And on July 7th, he would sign his deal giving them their fourth All-Star in their lineup. Looking towards a strong season, they would go on to win 67-15, and 15, giving them steam going into the playoffs, being the first team in NBA history to start the playoffs 12-0, blowing through the Trailblazers, Jazz, and the San Antonio Spurs. The 2017 playoffs would again be the Warriors versus Cavaliers in yet another thunderous battle. After going 4-0 in the finals, finishing 16-1, securing the highest playoffs average in history. Coming into the 2017 season and not showing any sign of slowing down at all, they went into the playoffs as the second seed after going 58-24, defeating both the Spurs and Pelicans to then face the first seed Rockets, in the Western Conference Finals defeating them in just six games, leading them to the finals against the Cavaliers for their fourth year in a row breaking another record as they were the first teams to play each other four times in a row. They would go on to sweep them. Before this, there hasn't been a sweep in the finals since 2007.
The next year, they would continue their finals runs, facing the Toronto Raptors in 2019, but would end up losing 4-2. After the finals, they would lose an injured Durant, who would end up accepting a four-year deal with the Brooklyn Nets and having an injured Clay be down for over a year. Through the next two years, they would not make the playoffs making off-season trades, strengthening the team. And at the beginning of the 2021 season, they drafted G League forward Jonathan Kuminga and Arkansas guard Moses Moody. They then resigned Curry to a four-year deal worth over $250 million, although they would fall short to the Los Angeles Lakers in a play-in game. Coming back for the 2022 season, they would resign Andre Iguodala, and they would finish the season 53-29, and clinching the third seed, and after beating the reigning MVP at the time, Nikola Jokic, they would triumph over the Grizzlies in just six games, then advancing to their seventh NBA Finals against the Celtics, giving them their seventh championship and fourth in just eight years. It is without being said that there is several stars on the team that will go down in the Hall of Fame. From the various titles, awards, and championships, this team have certainly proved themselves. Curry for three. Puts it in. Curry rattles it down. It's a one-point game. Thompson hits the second. Ten points, 13 rebounds for Tristan Thompson. Curry. Fires away for three. That's good. Stephen Curry. Deputy Commissioner Mark Tid. Thank you so much, Lisa. What a phenomenal series and a great way to cap off the 75th NBA anniversary season. To the fans of Boston, the Bay Area, and fans around the world, thank you all for being a part of it. Congratulations to the Boston Celtics the Eastern Conference champions on a terrific season. And now the Golden State Warriors, six NBA Finals in eight years, four NBA championships, a remarkable run by any measure that only a handful of teams in the history of NBA have accomplished. To Joe Lacob, to Peter Goober, to Coach Kerr, to Bob Myers, to all you great players, the coaches, and the entire Golden State Warriors organization, congratulations. You are the 2022 NBA champions.